this project we'll make a leather fanny pack with an awesome fringe. Make a fanny pack pattern on the wrong side of the leather. Use the pattern from the attachment to this tutorial. Trace it with Taylor's chalk. Unfold the pouch and trace the flap. Cut it out. Measure out an inch strip on the wrong side of the leather. The length equals the waist circumference reduced by the pouch length. We'll need two of the same strips. Cut them out. Align the fanny pack details with the wrong side up. Mark a slit with the chalk. Lay a cutting board. Make two parallel cuts. Cut off the excess using nail scissors. Put the pouch details the right side up. Sew down across the edge with thick thread using a running stitch. Seam the round part at about half an inch beyond the edge. Sew around the pouch flap with the running stitch as well. Align the strips the right side up. Sew down. Use a small size puncher to make holes around the lower part of the fanny pack at 2 8 inches apart. Fold the end of the belt. Punch two holes. Set a rivet in the hole. And the second one. Press with a riveter. You can set the supplies in a clothes repair workshop. Fold the pouch side ends and set the rivets. Make a snap on the pack flap in the same way. Put a ring clasp on one side of the fanny pack and on the other. Put the belt on the ring to both sides of the pouch. Cut off a piece of suede cord. Thoroughly color the end with a black permanent marker. Repeat for the second end. Fold in half. Pass through a hole on the fanny pack. Put the cord ends into the loop and pull up. Make another detail in the same way, except the size. Make it a bit longer. Fasten in the next hole. Continue around the pouch. Decrease the cord length after the bottom point. Let's see what we have. Cool! Done! This gorgeous leather fanny pack with the awesome fringe will add originality to your casual outfit. In our tutorial, we will sew a handmade All The Rage backpack using old jeans. We need old straight bootcut jeans. Cut out a lower part of the jeans for a backpack base. Place the piece keeping the seams one under another. Rip off a small piece of the belt. Cut out a 4 inch piece. Fold in half. Sew across the edge. Make a 0.1 inch crisscross cut. Put a metal eyelet into the hole. Put the ring on the other side. Place the eyelet on a metal ball. Put another small ball on top. Hit it with a hammer to secure the eyelet. Make another of the same detail. The third detail should be a bit longer, having two eyelets. Sew it to the side seam along the bottom edge. 
Take a small piece of the belt. Make a fastener for a zipper. Sew the edges. Seam the zipper across the bottom edge, leaving the fastener outside. Put the other side of the zipper inside. Sew it to the base. Now you can zip it. Lay the base this way. Decorate these triangles. Make a square along the lengthwise grain fitting the triangle. Cut a diagonal. Pull several threads from the edges. Make a stencil using masking tape. Color the denim using fabric paint. Remove the tape. Make the same pattern on the other triangle. Pin both details to the backpack. Sew with a running stitch using a thick white thread. Cut out four two-inch pieces of black edge ribbon. Make a loop putting the ends inside. Sew down along the zipper using a black thread. Seam two details on each side. Rip a belt loop off the jeans. Sew it down to the backpack at the center. Attach from the top and the bottom. Place two eyelet details the wrong side up along the backpack's bottom edge. Pin them down. Turn the backpack inside out. Lay it to keep the eyelet details on the sides. Sew the bottom seam. Turn the backpack right side up. Remove the pins. Make handles using white rope. Wrap a thread around a rope end to push it easily into the eyelet. Pass it through the right bottom eyelet, pulling till the end. Tie a knot. Now, pass through the right top eyelet. Leave a proper handle length piece and tie a knot on the front side. Go through the ribbon loops, move to the belt loop, and up through the ribbon loops again. Tie a knot before going through the left top eyelet. Pass the rope through and put it into the last eyelet. Even out the handle's length and tie the last knot. Now, cut off the excess rope. We have made the stylish denim backpack using old jeans. In our today's tutorial, we'll make an elegant evening clutch. We need two-sided silver thread denim, black lining, wrap foam polythene, a purse frame with a clasp, metal beads, chain, two lobster clasps, and a hot glue gun. Fold the fabric in half. Make a clutch pattern of the frame width, adding an inch around the sides. Trim the upper edge. Now make decorative strips. Fold a diagonal. Mark the proper length. Cut 0.4 inch wide strips along the lengthwise grain. Pull several threads from the edges. We need seven such details. Now make seven strips along the weft. You have light threads across the edges. Mark a diagonal on the clutch pattern. Attach the strips along the marked line using a hot glue gun. Alternate the dark and light ones. Cut off the excess. Sew the beads between the strips in the middle. The interval between the beads may be different. Mark the bottom of the frame on both sides. Fold the fabric the wrong side up. Sew the sides up to the marks. To shape the clutch, place the side seam in the center of this triangle and sew the corner. It looks like this on the right side. Now make the same detail from the lining fabric. Sew the side seams of the same length. To attach the frame, place it open on the clutch. Fold the fabric edges inside. Stitch in the frame holes up to the curve. It looks like this on the right side. Now do the same on the other side. Fold the fabric edges inside at the curve. 
Stick carefully to the frame with a hot glue gun. Make a foam polythene pattern for the clutch to keep its shape. Place it inside. Make sure it fits well. Glue to the frame edges. Add in the lining, keeping the right side inside the clutch. Fold the edges. Glue the lining to the frame. If you want to use it as a purse, add a handle. Now use a chain. Open a ring at the chain's end. Use pliers. Put on a lobster clasp. Close the ring. Do the same on the other end. Attach the handle onto the frame. The exclusive accessory is ready. This stylish silver clutch will complement your image at the theater or a party. In our tutorial, we'll sew an original denim handbag decorated with a white star. We'll need dark blue denim, white fabric paint, white gross grain ribbon, white rope, a white zipper, tailor's pins, the star stencil from the attachment, and scissors. Draw a square 6 inch side pocket. Cut it out without seam allowance. Fold the top side. Sew with a white thread using a running stitch. Make another seam a bit lower. Fold and pin the sides and the bottom. Take a 14 by 29 inch fabric square handbag pattern. Place the pocket in the middle of the top part. Pin it down. Sew down the pocket with a running stitch. Place a star stencil on any place you want. Pin it down to keep it in place. Brush the star with white paint. Fold the handbag inside out. Seam the sides using a back stitch. Sew down the bottom corners for a better shape. Turn the handbag right side out. Flatten and iron the seams. Fold the top side. Baste around. Decorate the ends of the zipper. Put the zipper inside and sew it down using a running stitch. Open the zipper before attaching it to the other side. Remove the basting. Make handle fasteners from two 4 by 8 inch squares. Fold in half inside out. Stitch across the edge. Turn the right side out. Iron the detail. Fold the fastener to conceal the edges. Sew it down to the side, seam on top. Wrap around the rope end with a thread to pass through the fasteners easily. Pass the rope through the fasteners. Join both rope ends, sticking them to the ribbon. Use a hot glue gun. Wrap the attachment point with the ribbon tight. Sew down with a white thread. The stylish denim handbag is ready. It'll perfectly fit for a picnic or going on a beach or in a shop. Bag and cap in Pokemon Go trend colors. picture of our character. You can use a template. Let's make a bag. Place a round template in the center. Split the bag in half using tape. Put plastic cloth inside to prevent painting the back. Color the bag using white and red acrylic paints. Add 
character features to the Pokémon on the cap. Now, color the character. Use brushes of different size. When the bag paints are dry, remove the tape and template and start the next step. Use a black permanent marker and acrylic paint. Trace the smaller templates in the center one by one. Define the cap image. The bright picnic set is ready. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. Give your thumbs up. We'll continue making new interesting videos to share creative ideas.